Spending this morning an eight mile stretch of I-96, getting some major road work done. The construction project repairs the interstate from M6 all the way to the Kent and Ionia County line. In order to help make traffic a little lighter, a zipper merge will be in effect. For more 13 Year Sides, Trivia Gonzalez joins us live from Kent County near the construction. So Trivia, MDOT is reminding drivers how to properly use that zipper merge. Yeah, they really are, Julie. Good morning to you and Emily as well. The common reaction for some drivers is just to immediately hop over to that next lane over. They think that's the right thing to do once that signage does pop up. But if the traffic is busy enough, this is something that can actually create a lot more congestion and not the right thing to do. Now, even though it might come off as cutting in line, a spokesperson with MDOT says using both lanes until the very end is something that can actually save everyone some time. However, this is something that takes quite cooperation from everyone. That means drivers in that open lane need to be mindful and courteous to drivers trying to merge in with you. If it is congested and things slow down and gum up, you know, please use both available lanes uh, so we can reduce those backups in this zipper merge work zone. Now, when it comes to the work happening out here, we're told this construction will include a full concrete repavement repair work as well as shoulder re resurfacing work. Now, the closures are only in place during weekdays, so Friday evening through the weekend, lanes should be open and have a lot less congestion. Now, we have reported on instances of road rage in the past, specifically due to zipper lane merges. So another message is just to be a little bit more patient if you are coming through this stretch of I-96. For now, we're live in Kent County. Trevier Gonzalez. 13 on your side.